So one of the most customizable custom rooms, or you can say one of the most beautiful custom rooms in the terms of UI, we have Project Infinity X. It's already available based on Android 14 from some time and also based on Android 15 now from a previous few updates. In case you want to try it out on a device for some of the devices, it's already available. For some, it might be available very, very soon. Talking about Project Infinity X. As I just told you at the starting of the video, this is one of the most customizable custom rooms and things are almost quite similar as compared to Android 14. Android 14 is great in the terms of stability, customizations and a lot more things. With Android 15, it is right now not that stable. Yes, I found few of the minor bugs here and there, but that's completely fine. In day-to-day -day usage, I don't think so you might get any major issues. At the home screen, you are able to notice the new at a glance widget. The launcher is also as expected the quick step launcher. It's not a pixel launcher at all. And in case you want to use pixel launcher, you can use that with the help of by installing a magisk module on a device and you can also use circle to search. In my case, circle to search actually is already implemented with project infinity latest version based on Android 15 with this launcher. But unfortunately for my device, it's not working. That's why I told you at the starting of the video, I found minor bugs here and there. It's not a major thing although, but yes, you can still try out the pixel launcher and you can also try out circle to search in that. Also in my case, because my device, which is Poco F5 has the vanilla version of this custom ROM, that might be the reason behind circle to search not working for me. But if you, if you use the Google apps version, that thing might work for you. Let me know in the comment box how the things are going on for you. For example, the quick settings panel, one thing, let me show you in case you did not notice it. As you can see by holding on the settings icon in the quick settings panel simply opens uh, the infinity customizations. Normally it is opening settings there, but if I hold here, it opens infinity suit where we have all the customizations, all these features listed. And that's a very useful thing. Talking about some miscellaneous options which are already included. As you can see, we have the option for application downgrade which is obviously fine. We have storage encryption spoofing, no storage restrict, and almost every feature that you actually need in a custom room is already present in this case. Even with the spoofing options, you can see it already has inbuilt play integrity fix. You just have to click on update play, play integrity fix and everything will be done for you. Some spoofing options related to Google apps, Google, Google photos app and some more apps for sure. Talking about some of the things like in lock screen customizations. That's a very useful thing that lock screen customizations That's a very amazing thing that lock screen customizations are here. You can use these custom clock styles. For example, if you want to use iOS style clock, you want to use this minimal style. You want to use MIUI style. You want to choose any other options, you can do so. And this is just simply awesome, working perfectly fine. So far, I did not find any major issues yet. Wallpaper section is just similar, but if you click on theme packs, you will find a lot of options to customize. Like one of them, which is at the top is wallpaper blur. This looks amazing. You can enable this option and you just notice that my home screen, the wallpaper was in blur effect. And this is a similar customizations and similar customization actually, which is already present with rising OS. In case you did not watch out the rising OS video yet, check out that video. The new latest update is also out for the rising OS and that brings us some more features as expectedly. Some of the other options, buttons, customizations or features, quick settings also has some of the few things. Although I don't think so, we have the option available for Android 11 style quick settings panel yet. Maybe very soon, but that's completely okay. Status bar has a similar kind of options. You can also adjust the status bar padding or it's totally up to you. Yes, so these were the things just wanted to let you know. Uh, other than else, we have almost similar kind of things you just noticed. We have same kind of options available. One thing I always miss is the volume panel and the power menu. You can see this is a volume panel. This is Android 15, but unfortunately we do not have uh, the new volume panel available, but that's okay. I mean, if you don't like that, then this would be a useful thing for you. Power menu is a different and this sort of power menu, as far as I know, not available in many other custom rooms. It's only, only available in this one. It is actually looking good. In case you love this power menu, you want to try out Project Infinity X, the link for this, this build, which is available for Poco F5 and some other devices for official supported devices is already there in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.